today I'm going to be reviewing The Dirty Book Club by Lucy Harrison. So this is actually a selection from my book club. Someone else picked it and I had to read it. It wasn't something I was super interested in necessarily. I set it down 50 pages in and then just didn't pick it up for like two months. And then all of a sudden they said we were gonna have a Zoom meeting as our book club meeting. And I was like, I better get to reading. I loved it. I absolutely loved it. So this is the story of sort of two adjoining groups. It basically follows Gloria and MJ. Gloria is, it starts with her. She is married to her high school sweetheart, super wealthy, has all her friends. They sort of are together in the first scene, sort of as, as they're gathering, where they sort of fund, or found rather, the DBC, or the Dirty Book Club, where they kind of vow to support each other. So fast forward to, I don't know, like 60 years later? maybe 70 years later, something like that. Um, it follows MJ who has kind of had a troubled life. And I will say, honestly, one of the things about the book, this girl has like everything happened to her. Obviously it's a book and I get it. There's things that need to take place. It is very plot driven, um, more so necessarily than character based, but I wasn't mad at it. <clears throat> they, they give you enough to form fully the characters. It was good in that sense, but basically, kind of in a very quick change of events, uh, MJ ends up from New York on the West Coast in LA, in Orange County of all places, where she meets Gloria and they kind of spark up a friendship. Gloria then, a big event takes place that I'm not gonna ruin. I don't wanna ruin, there's so many spoilers in this book that really if I tell you too much about the plot, I'm going to spoil the whole thing all the way through. But basically, this event takes place where Gloria then decides she's going to fulfill her life's dream and she leaves the DBC to MJ and three other girls that have been determined by her three other friends. There are reasons why these women are all connected and they are essentially tasked to sort of become each other's friends out of nowhere. And it was very much a story of people that need each other finding each other, or rather in this case, being pushed together with each other. But kind of as the events unfold, as they sort of decide whether they are or are not going to meet for the DBC, they end up becoming friends, obviously, and it's great. I didn't think there was a whole lot of like, none of the love parts in the story were great. It was 100% a friendship story, um, and all those elements were great. No part of the love was good. Like I said, it was very, very plot driven. Um, there are more events that move things along than anything the character realizes. Um, but honestly, I enjoyed every part of it. It had some really hilarious parts. Um, I don't know that I would particularly say it was salacious. Like the name is more salacious than the book itself. Um, but it was a lot of fun. It was great. If you're, if you have a book club, it would be, uh, we had a really good time talking about it, I think. So I think if you have a book club, especially if it's a group of ladies, and mine is like every age. So I don't necessarily, I wouldn't necessarily say this book has an age. I think everyone was able to enjoy it all the way through. Um, I'd maybe be watch out for younger readers, but if you're gonna pick up the book, you're gonna pick up the book. If your book club picks up the book, you won't be disappointed. It, it was great. So for me, this was a four star read. Uh, the Dirty Book Club by Lissy Harrison. If you pick this up and love it or have anything funny to say because there's some really quotable moments in it, leave them down in the comments below. I would love to see it. All right, see you guys next time.